everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to download and install RF tools in Minecraft 1.15.2 RF tools is huge it's a lot of stuff all in one mod it does everything from like you use quarries to do stuff like smart wrenches and you know power generation and building things it, it, there is so much stuff in this and storage for example like data center based storage where you know you can like link things together and have an access panel and everything that's all done with rf tools it is a huge mod and it is finally opened up and finally updated to minecraft 1.15 now first and foremost i will say it's not just one mod anymore. They've actually broken it up into RF Tools Base, RF Tools Storage, Builder, Utility, and Power. So you've got four different or five different RF Tools mods, plus you do have the library that's required for them. So a lot goes into this. You'll see a lot of links in the description down below. But whatever you do, I would recommend installing all of these to get the full effect of RF Tools. Otherwise, you can kind of read what each of them does on their mod pages, but we're going to be installing them all today so we can have all of the RF tools, you know, anything that RF tools has ever done will be able to be done today. So yeah, first and foremost though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you're looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, Apex Apex Minecraft hosting is the only way to go. Check out Apex, the first link down below. Again, that's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get RF Tools installed. That's why you're here anyway. So we're going to be installing the RF Tools base and downloading that one first and the library. And then I'm going to go through all of these, but I'm not going to go through the same process because the process of downloading these is the same for all of these. So RF Tools base, what we're going to be doing, starting off here, this is all linked in the description down below. And when you come here, you can come over here to the right hand side, scroll down, and then you'll see this Minecraft 1.15 section. Under that, you'll see a version of the mod. Click on that purple download button to the right of it. It'll then take us off to this page where after six seconds, the download will begin automatically. Now we will need to keep the file on the bottom left, and it's 100% safe to do that as long as it says RF Tools in the title. It does, so we can click keep. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, you're going to save it in the center of your screen. Now, technically all you need for RF Tools to work is the RF Tools base mod and the Mikjutlib mod, right? Those are the only ones you necessarily have to have. But let's see here. This is the MCJTY lib. I don't exactly know what that, you know, means. I know the mod owner's name is MCJTY, but I don't know how to say it. But nevertheless, you need this and you need one of these RF Tools mod to be able to get this to work. So what we're going to be doing again is coming over here to the right hand side there we go Whew, for some reason i kept clicking off this back accident come over here to the right hand side scroll down and you'll see minecraft 1.15 again under that you will again see a version of this mod and then click that purple download button to the right of it it'll again take us off and after six seconds the download will begin and it'll begin in the bottom left we will need to keep this file and it's safe to keep this one as long as it says mcjty lib in it which it does we can click keep on the Zero firefox you need to save it in the center of your screen and that's the same process for all of these right hand side scroll down find 1 to 15 click the download button takes you off click keep the file it's the same on all of these but i'm not going to go through the entire process on all of them it's a little repetitive, so I'm just going to go through and download them all, and then once we've got them all downloaded, we will be able to get Forge. Forge is required for this, obviously, so that is something that, you know, we're going to have to do, and that's a bit different, luckily, from this, right, from downloading all these mods. So we've got two more left here. We've got the uh, Utilities, the RF Tools Utility Mod, and then we do have the RF Tools Power Mod as well. So let's go ahead and let that finish. Boom. Download to the bottom left. Keep. And then last but not least, the RF Tools Power Mod. Scroll down. 1.15 and then wait six seconds to finish this one up after we keep the file boom keep the file there we go so now we need to get forged luckily we have an in-depth tutorial on getting forged here now we're going to be going through setting up forge and getting it in this video but if you have any issues or things like that our tutorial here linked in the description down below will help you out however no matter what you're going to need to come to this page and then once you're here click the green download forge button when you click on that it's going to open up forge where we want to make sure that the minecraft 1.15.2 version is selected so we do have mc 1.15.2 here that means we're good to go but if it doesn't say mc 1.15.2 here what you want to do is click on the 1.15 section on the left hand side click on 1.15.2 then mc 1.15.2 will appear there and then finally come under download latest and click the installer button it will then take us off to add focus where you don't want to click anything on this page stop don't click anything on this page whatsoever no, 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 your download is not ready. It is lying to you. Okay, don't click anything on this page except the red skip button in the top right. The only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. 
when you click on that red skip button. In the bottom left, Forge will start downloading. As long as it says Forge in the title, you are good to keep the file. On Mozilla Firefox, you need to save it in the center of your screen. By the way, if it doesn't say Forge, just click discard and click the red skip button in the top right, then the correct download will download. Finally, if we minimize our browser here, we have a lot of stuff. As you can see, we have all these unconfirmed. What that means, basically the mods are still downloading. However, these are all on my desktop. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be in your downloads folder. And to do that and find them in your downloads folder, click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left for me, but it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. So that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, click on that and then type in downloads. And then have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that. And when you do, all those will finish, which is unrelated, by the way. Those didn't finish because I opened the downloads folder. Still a glitch on my computer. But nevertheless, you will find all of these mods here in your downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. So let's run through these real quick, and we'll make sure we do have everything. So close out of my downloads folder. So here we have Forge, right, which is going to be where we start and also required. Basically, the mod loader for RF Tools Storage, RF Tools Base, the MIC JTY Lib, the RF Tools Builder, RF Tools Utility, and RF Tools Power Mods. So that is all working and that is all there. You should have six mods plus Forge downloaded when we're all said and done. But we are going to be starting off with Forge. So go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java? Or what if these files don't even look like this? They look like zip files or book files. They don't look like these Java coffee cups or these Java logos here. What do you do in that case? Well, no worries. We have a solution for you, and that solution is downloading Java. So this is our in-depth Java tutorial linked in the description below. It's helped 1.1 million people get the correct version of Java from Minecraft mods, and it goes through every single step of doing that. It's very, very simple, and for most people, that's what you're going to need to do. However, for some of you, you might download Java, and it still doesn't work, or the files still look Look weird and if that's the case you need to run the jar fix and what this is going to do is make all the dot jar files in your computer link to java and work with java once again so it's going to kind of mesh those together and then you'll be good to go so download and install java if that doesn't work run the jar fix and finally you'll be able to right click on forge click on open with click on java team platform se binary and click ok then it will go through open this and now we can install forge to do this just click on install client and click ok it's now going to set up Forge, do everything that it needs to do to allow Forge to work with Minecraft on your computer. Um, and basically, once this is set up, most of the hard stuff is done, right? From this point on, we need to create a profile on Minecraft and then drag and drop. It's that simple. So as you can see, successfully installed client profile Forge version 1.15.2. Awesome. We can click OK. That means it works. Now what we want to do is go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. So let's go ahead and open that up. We can type in Minecraft here, open up the Minecraft launcher, and now come down here to the little drop down box to the left of the play button. Click on that and you should have a Forge profile. If you do, click on it and click play. But if you don't, what do you do? No worries, we've got a solution of course. Click on the installations tab up here at the top of Minecraft. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on the plus new button here. Once you click on that plus new button, you can type in whatever you want for your name, but we're going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our incredible Minecraft, network Minecraft server. We have two grief protective survival servers, medieval survival with 30 custom quests and a player based economy, aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy, and then we do have custom skyblock with OP enchants, 1.8 PvP, custom islands, all of that stuff. Then we do have factions, last but not least, with custom enchantments. Mob coins, F power boost, it is incredible. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, and I cannot wait to see you online. But nevertheless, let's go ahead after you've got your name set there and click on the version drop down box. When you click on that, you might have to scroll down a bit, but you'll find a release 1.15.2 forge in here. Click on that. And then go ahead and click create. So click create in the bottom right after you have 1.15.2 dash forward selected there. Now, if you see right down here at the bottom, we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. It is on 1.15.2 dash forge. And once you confirm that, go ahead and click the green play button over here to the right hand side. Now it's going to open up Minecraft with Forge installed. And we'll know Forge is installed because it will open up this, the Forge mod loader early loading process. So awesome stuff there. So once this is opened up, all we need to do is open a folder which we could do for Minecraft, and drag and drop these mods into that folder. That's how easy it is to install RF tools from this point. So once we're on the main menu here, wait for it. There we go. So now here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We'll have this mods tab. Click on that mods tab, and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left, right? So click on the mods tab, and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. 
That's then going to open up this mods folder here that you should know pretty well at this point. What you want to now do is take RF Tools Storage, RF Tools Base, the MC JTY Lib, RF Tools Builder, RF Tools Utilities, and RF Tools Power, and drag and drop them all into the mods folder. Now, if you come back to Minecraft, these aren't going to appear, and they're never going to appear until you quit the game. Open up the Minecraft launcher. This time, though, you don't have to worry about doing any of that complicated stuff. All you have to do is click that little drop-down box next to the play button, select the profile that has 1.15.2-forge under it, and then click play. Then it's going to now open up Minecraft, and as it's opening up Minecraft, right here, you'll be able to see Mick JTY Library, RF Tools, RF Tools, RF Tools, RF Tools, RF Tools. I completely butchered saying RF Tools there, but at the point, they were all there, and they are all loading up, and then we're going to see them again here, constructing eight mods, right? That means it's found all eight of those mods that we've installed, or all six mods, plus the two mods that Forge always has by default that you can't uninstall. So, once we're in Minecraft here, we can go ahead and click on Mods, and then we do have the MCJTY library, we have RF Tools Base, we have RF Tools Utility, we have RF Tools Power, we have RF Tools Builder, and we have RF Tools Storage. Whew, that is a lot, but all of them are there. Now, at this point, one last thing we gotta do, we gotta create a new world, don't we? We gotta create a new world and jump in game to show you RF tools here. Now, this is a very, very complicated mod with a lot of stuff in it. I would really recommend running not enough items with this, which we do have a tutorial on that you can check out at the other top of your screen and in the description down below. Let's go ahead and get this world loaded up though and I'll meet you in game. All right, so here we are in game and if we hit E because we are in creative, we can see all of the RF tools stuff here. So RF tools base, this is all the stuff to do with the bases here. We have RF tools utility which is all the different crafters and things like that that you can run. We do have RF Tools Power, obviously how you can generate power with RF Tools and store power, you know, with dimensional cells and things like that. And then we do have RF Tools Builder, all the different building things that you can do, which is pretty cool. We then have RF Tools Storage, which is all of the storage, tier four storage modules, modular storage, all of that stuff that RF Tools does have, which I'm excited to see. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very excited to see RF Tools coming back there. Now, this is in alpha, so very, very glitched block there, but nevertheless, most of it's working nice and fine there, which is what I like to see. And then, uh, yeah, we've got all of this stuff here, which is great. So we've got sharp shape cords, cards, excuse me, and different projector stuff. We've got shields, all of this stuff. Wow, it's been a while since I have played around with RF tools. I have missed this, to be honest. Wow, absolutely incredible. But as you can see, there are still some bugs in this. This is an alpha. Depending on when you're watching this video, these will be fixed. I know they are actively developing this mod. It received an update about a week ago. So nothing too crazy as far as that goes. It's updated very, very recently. And uh, yeah, overall, an incredible, incredible mod that I'm uh, happy to see updated. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really does mean a lot to us and it helps support the channel. Also, come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Again, we have two grief-protected survival servers, aquatic survival with a slash shop-based economy, and medieval survival with a player-based economy and 30 custom quests. It's kind of like RuneScape in Minecraft. You'll love it. And then we do have a skyblock as well with custom islands, OP enchants, and 1.8 PvP. Then we do have factions, which is actually based in 1.8 with custom enchants, Faction power upgrades, just tons of custom features. It's overwhelming. We have things like F inspect. I mean, anything you'd want out of a faction server, it's, it's really there. Mob coins, custom ops, it, it's incredible. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. Enjoy RF tools, and I'm out. Peace.